take us back a little bit of your history with your husband. Has it been four years? Because that's what I saw on a video, right? You've been in yes. Mexico now four years. So four all years. this happens four years ago in, in Utah, right? Yes. Can you take us back a little bit of uh, of that history? Oh, I, I know yeah. it might be a little touchy subject. No, right? it's okay. But... I mean, uh, it's gonna it's your first podcast in English, and uh, it's probably the first time that you have somebody cry on your podcast. <laughs> so I'm um, glad I can be the first for everything. No, um, so uh, back in 2016, um, I was at work. I had just started. I was probably about two months into a brand new job, and it was a great job. Um, I was getting ready or I just started my master's degree and I got a phone call in the middle of the day from my husband's friend. And he said, Hey, Fidel has been detained. Um, and I needed to let you know, because I don't know when he's going to be able to call you. And, um, the only way that I can describe that to people is imagine all of the air getting sucked out of your universe all at once. That's the only way to describe that feeling. It's horrendous. Um, and so, you know, I waited, um, well, I left to work obviously because I was no, in no state to stay at work and the company was great. You know, I just, I walked right into the, into my boss's office and I said, Hey, my husband was just detained and, you know, he's here undocumented, which means that he's probably going to get deported, you know, because I, I mean, I knew it, I knew they're just quick like that in, in Utah, they immediately get immigration involved. Um, and so I, remember that I left work, but I didn't want to go and pick up my son from daycare because I didn't want to tell him what had happened. You know, I was avoiding that part of it. Um, and I waited for my husband to call. And then it was just a whirlwind of, you know, every day on my lunch, I was talking to attorneys. I was doing consultations. I, I can't even tell you the, num the amount of consultations I did with attorneys and, and everything like that. And it ended up being about um, about a year total that we were fighting his case and um, it came down to one judge and she <laughs> she just said no she said nope you're gone and she deported him um, wow. and so once that happened he got here uh, into Mexico and I think um, they you know they dropped him off at the border um, and so he had to travel down I think two or three days was his travel time um, and once he got here Two or three days after that is when we flew in to visit. And so we came and visited for two weeks. Um, and three months later, we we made the move down here, my son and I. So that's how wow. it, it was. Uh, yeah, it did was a nightmare. Felt, <laughs> did you feel that the that the courts had pretty much shown no mercy when it came to this? Absolutely. Right. Because yeah. it seems. It... No, go ahead. <laughs> Um, you know, I've had, um, I've had people make comments about, uh, my social media and they've said, you know, uh, like the news and that they only want to talk to you because you're white. And, you know, if people are listening then to me because of the color of my skin, that's their prerogative. But, um, I honestly, what I tell people is that the United States didn't care. They didn't care that I was educated. They didn't care that I was white. They didn't care that we had a family. They didn't care that my husband had 20 plus character references from, you know, everybody from my family up to our priest, you know, because we're Catholic and, and things like that. They didn't care. They didn't care about any of that. The only thing that they saw was somebody who had come without documentation. That's all they, that's all they saw. They didn't, they didn't look at any other part of his character. So, yeah. Well, well, you know, I just I just got to bring this out. But uh, one of the reasons that I started watching this is not because of the color of your skin or anything or anything negative that people can actually say. It's just because because you're actually showing and sharing your story just like thousands of people are going through at this right. moment. And we're seeing it through your eyes. And not a lot of people have been doing that. Actually, you must be the first one to do this which makes it unique. And that's probably why you feel so much responsibility to continue do. doing <laughs> it. Right. But in reality, you know, you're actually just showing the world what life is when it comes to these situations, you know, and it's yeah. great. And I thank you for that, to be honest. Thank you. So, well, yeah, honestly, for me, you know, I've, I've talked to other women and other people in this situation. And for me, you know, when we were going through it, we've, we've, We've talked about how incredibly helpful it would have been to 
have somebody that we could have just seen a couple videos of what their life was like, you know, because once you make this decision to move, there's so many components and you feel so many feelings and you're so used to living in the shadows that yeah. you, you know, you, there's just no, nobody talking about it, but how incredibly helpful it is to just know that there's somebody out there that's winning, you know, on the yeah. other side. Cause you, you feel like when he, when it happens, you feel like it's the end of everything, you know? And so for me, I, once I started this and I started to get stories, you know, I, I, one of course wanted to show beautiful Mexico was because even for me, Mexico was nothing like I expected it to be, you know, it was the complete opposite of everything that I was ever told in the States about, about Mexico. And, um, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted people to see it and, and, and know that, you know, your life goes on and you can still have a beautiful life together with your family, even if the United States doesn't care about your family anymore, you know, you can, you can move on and still have a beautiful life. So 